everyone, it's Julia. I am working on some thrifted projects this week. Um, when I go to the thrift store, some I really like looking for jeans and flannel shirts. Um, I have a little shop up at the flea market in Minnesota and they just sell well up there. And so I'm going to show you some of the things I've been working on. I already started on the shirt and I'll just kind of explain how I finished it. I cut the sleeves off. That gives me a lot of fabric for other other things. So I cut the sleeve off, but I leave, oh, about a half inch of the sleeve and then I fold that back and stitch right on the previous stitching just to finish off the armhole. I also cut off the pockets. Um, the, the top pockets, you don't ever use them and, and, and they, they're cute on other projects. So I, I usually cut those off. The sleeve also will give me a cuff to work with, which is kind of fun. But so the only, and then on the jeans, I'll show you, I did start just one thing on the jeans and I cut the, the back pocket, one of them completely off. And the other one I left on, but I think I'm going to fold it down and decorate something on that. And so to finish the shirt, what I ended up doing was taking that back pocket from the jean and I just placed it on the bottom of the shirt and I decorated it with this fun bird and a saying. The only other thing that I did on this shirt was I added a bird to the back. So it's just kind of sitting right on that yoke seam. This both of these birds are is from a, a Biggs die that I ran through my Big Shot, um, and I'm going to be show, sharing some pictures of this at the end so you can see it hanging and kind of see what it looks like a little bit better. But it's I thought it's just going to be a fun um, a fun shirt summer shirt um, to wear with a pair of cut off jeans or something. So there's that one, and now this one. Um, just a little bit about this pair of jeans. It does have, it's a capri jean, so it's gonna work well for my summer shop, but it has these fun zippers in it too on the, on the bottom side. So I'm gonna be working with, with this and I'm gonna kinda take parts from that shirt and add them to, to the pants and just kinda do some things. Um, and I'm gonna see what I come up with and I will show you at the end here. I think I came up with a design that I like and I'm just going to share it with you here. I was able to put the cuff of that flannel shirt right through two of the belt loops. I'm going to leave the button on and I'll just stitch this going across the top and the bottom. But I'm going to do the same on this side too. I just wanted to share with you, I just cut that cuff right off right at that seam there. And again, just gonna, it's going to go through two of the belt loops and I'll just pin it into place and then stitch it. And then for the top of the pockets, there's always that blank spot right here and I like to decorate that just by adding a piece of the fabric. I'm also going to include this pink and white polka dot. This is just a scrap I had and I thought the colors worked well. I'm just going to lay that on top. And then on the other side, this is a side that has that little pocket and I'm just going to add a piece of the flannel and then a couple little flower little lace motifs. I have a whole couple yardage of this left. I picked it up at an antique mall. I don't know the age on it, but it does have some age and I've used a ton of it. I just love it. And then for the bottoms, um, I am going to actually turn this bottom part up so this zipper is exposed. I'm going to add just a triangle in there. And then on this side, this is a, the, a cuff, part of the cuff as well. It's that, that button placket. And I'm going to, it's a little bit short, so I'm going to just add a couple of these little motifs right to the top of that as well. And this again will all be stitched at my sewing machine. So that's the bottom of that leg. Um, and then on this leg, I'm going to add, I'm going to add that pocket. we just stitching it all the way around. And then for this part, I have, I just, 
made this little girl and it's just free motion stitch this is from one of my templates it's my stitch my stick figured little girls and then the, the little outfit is the same flannel and that is going to go right here I will be taking this to my sewing machine and I will be free motion stitching this on that way I don't have to um, like take apart the pants leg um, I'll be able just to put it under my free motion arm and I'll show you how I'll do that and then I'll be able to stitch this because with free motion you can go sideways and backwards and I don't have to turn it I'll be able to stitch this on with my free motion one more thing I just wanted to share is the back I'm going to keep it really simple um, I'm just going to fold that back, that little flap, and then add that same little triangle like I did to the bottom of the other leg. I'm going to set up my sewing machine and I'm going to share with you how I stitched this part of it on. First thing is getting this pants leg over my open arm and getting, I'm going to start at the very top, so I'm just going to keep working this in. I should have secured these pieces a little better, possibly using like a heat and bond light or something in the back of them. Even, even little dots of glue maybe would have helped, but I just pinned them in place, so I'm just working with what I've got here. And I'm gonna be doing some doodling on here with my thread and going back and forth and just doing some, some different kind of stitching. There's plenty of room on this, this patch for some um, slow stitching too. So I might add some slow stitching in a, like a hot pink, maybe just some X's or something. Again, added a little doodle there at the top. And then down to the pocket, just smoothing it out a little before I start. And we'll be just doing a, a sort of a straight stitch on this. It's not as even as if I was, if I had my other foot on, but because I have my free motion foot on, I am doing all the moving myself and my feed, do my feed um, dogs are dropped which makes it really easy when you don't have to turn your machine when you're doing a pants leg like this or turn your turn your fabric I should say and then doing a, a real a little scribble on top there and I've got some pictures at the end here you can see that little pocket and then the bird on the on the um, top yoke and here's what the pants look like Thank you everybody for watching today. I hope you have a creative week. Bye for now.